Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of probability and in this question we have been told that a unbiased coin is there which is tossed n number of times and they have told us that probability of getting seven heads is equal to probability of getting nine heads and we have been asked what is the probability of getting three heads so we need to find the answer for the probability of getting three heads in this case so if you understand if i toss a coin i can have the probability of getting either heads or tails and since this is an unbiased coin we have the probability of getting heads and tails equal to each other and that's equal to so this becomes a case of binomial distribution, right? Where we are considering that probability of heads is nothing but probability of success, that is half. And probability of tails is nothing but probability of failure, that is again half. Because we need to equate this probability of getting some heads. And when we have binomial distribution, we already have the idea that probability of the required things is equal to number of total number of tosses combined with required number of things that we need raised to probability of that requirement raised to number of required things and probability of requirement means probability of success and probability of failure raised to n minus r so total tosses minus the required thing so in this case if i equate this I get probability of 7 heads is equal to, so total number of tosses, C7, so NC7, which is combination, then probability of heads, we already know that's half, raised to number of heads, that is 7, probability of tails is again half, and number of tosses minus 7, because number of tails would become total number of tosses minus the number of heads. Again, if I use the same idea for probability of nine heads as well, I get this as total tosses combination with nine because I need nine heads here. Then half is the probability of success that is getting probability of heads raised to nine and half raised to n minus n. So now if I find or if I try to simplify both of these ideas, I have NC7, this becomes base is same. So when the base is same and the things are multiplied, what happens to the powers? They get added. So applying the rule of exponents, I get NC7 and half raised to n. Here again, same thing, NC9, half raised to n. So 9 plus n minus 9. So you have nc9 half raised to n again. So if you see now, if I equate this idea, I have probability of 7 heads equal to given probability of 9 heads. And in this case, we have nc7 half raised to n is equal to nc9 half raised to n. So now here, if I cancel both of these ideas, I am left with nc7 is equal to nc9. And in this case, if I want to find 9, I can take the help of that idea which we have already discussed in combinations. The ncr is always equal to ncn minus. Right? So I can write this entire thing nc7 as if I want to write nc7 in terms of 9 or I can write this as if I compare this with ncr is equal to ncn minus r again I can just equate this and this right so here in this case if you compare this and this r is 7 right 
So if I equate this and this, I get n minus r is 9, where we already know now that r is 7. So I get the value of n. So n becomes 16. So I now understand the total number of tosses which we are doing n times that is equal to 16. So basically we are doing 16 tosses. And now let's try to find out what he's asking for. He's asking us to find out probability of three heads. So if I try to find out probability of three heads, probability of three heads is equal to total 16 tosses combined with three, half raised to three. So probability of heads raised to number of heads that I need and the probability of failure that is tails raised to 16 minus three. So I have 16 C3, 16 factorial upon 13 factorial into 3 factorial. Using the formula here for NCR, that is N factorial upon R factorial into N minus. Further, if I try to solve this, I get half raised to 3 and I get here half raised to 3. So now if we try to solve this further, I can write this 16 factorial as 16, 15, 14 and 13 factorial divided by 13 factorial and 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1. Half raised to, this becomes 3 plus 13, which is 16. So what I get here is I can cancel this 13 factorial to both ends. 3 gets cancelled with 15 as 5. 2 ones, 2 sevens. So you are left with actually 16 into 35 upon 2 raised to 16. So again, I can write this 16 as nothing but 2 raised to 4 into 35 upon 2 raised to 16. So here, this 2 raised to 4 gets cancelled with this 2 raised to 16 and becomes 2 raised to 12. So basically what idea I get here is 25 upon 2 raised to 12. So the answer for the question which is asked to us that we need to find the probability of getting exactly three heads is nothing but 35 upon 2 raised to 4. Right? I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions where it involves binomial distribution. First thing we just needed to equate these ideas to get how many total tosses are done. Once we get that, we get easily how to find the probability of three heads. Using the binomial formula, I get it as 35 upon 2 raised to 12. And if you see the options here, which matches in this question is D. So D is the correct answer for the question that is asked to us. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share this video with your family and friends so that they can also take the benefits of this. Thank you.